I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. The U.S. Capitol insurrection on January 6, 2021 marked one of the darkest days in modern American history. As supporters of former President Donald Trump stormed the Capitol building, the nation watched in shock at the unprecedented attack on democracy unfolding on television and on social media. In this video, I will be talking about the traumatic events of that day that have had profound and lasting impacts on the mental health of Americans. Watch until the very end for some shocking information about the planning of the attack and Trump's connection, potential connection, to this very sad event. As the mob smashed windows, assaulted police officers, and occupied the halls of Congress, Americans experienced a sense of collective disbelief, grief, and trauma. The storming of the very symbolic center of American democracy induced psychological impacts akin to the aftermath of even 9-11. Surveys conducted in the weeks after showed a majority of citizens reporting high levels of stress, anxiety, sleeplessness, sadness, and fear in response to the attack. Over 60% felt the nation was in crisis or deep trouble, and 65% expected political violence to increase, a worrying predictor of future instability. Experts liken these psychological impacts to those experienced after mass shootings, terrorist events, or disasters. The insurrection represented a shocking rupture in Americans' sense of safety, security, and certainty about their democracy and livelihood. For those directly in the line of danger inside the Capitol building, the immediate trauma was even more acute. Many politicians, staffers, workers, and reporters feared directly for their lives and had to take emergency refuge or barricade themselves amidst the chaos. Over 140 police officers reported injuries. Several deaths also occurred in the vicinity. Survivors of such violence are vulnerable to severe conditions like post-traumatic stress disorder, also known as PTSD, chronic anxiety, depression, panic attacks, or complicated grief. The sounds of breaking glass, gunshots, and violent altercations can induce severe flashbacks. Therapists emphasize the importance of rest, counseling, and time for healing from such dangerous distress. In the weeks and months after the insurrection, ordinary Americans continued experiencing elevated stress about politics and the instability of the nation's democracy. A February 2021 American Psychological Association survey found that 67% of respondents felt anxiety about the country's future. Americans worry not just about the violence, but also more subtle threats like restrictions on voting rights or Refusal, refusal to accept valid election results. Isn't that crazy? This combination, fear for physical safety and freedoms, can be intensely affecting. It is compounded by the helplessness of watching events unfold indirectly through screens rather than feeling in control. Such stress compounds amidst other national crises like the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Cumulative stress wears down mental reserves, leaving people psychologically vulnerable. Social media has played an outsized role in enabling and amplifying the shockwaves from January 6th. The platforms granted conspiracy theories and misinformation a wide audience, helping spur many rioters into action. 87% of Americans attribute political extremism partly to unregulated social media. Even after the event, social networks continued allowing violent rhetoric and election denialism to spread largely unchecked. 
For media consumers, constant exposure to polarizing distorted claims from friends and public figures alike can be what? Anxiety inducing. There are few places online where Americans feel they can excel factual information and sane, normal, respectable discussions. The algorithms tending to drive engagement throughout outrageous means even those not seeking extremism encounter it frequently. The resulting infodemic, quote infodemic, undermines feelings of security and certainty. Beyond social media, Washington, D.C. itself has become synonymous with political dysfunction and toxicity. The processes meant to fairly mediate policy differences between parties have really grown adversarial, people fighting all the time. Americans perceive rising violent tendencies not just at the fringe but within prestigious halls of power. Loss of moderates and lubricating processes like earmarks reduce hopes of reconciliation or progress through bipartisanship. The faith in institutions like Congress, the presidency, and even the Supreme Court is declining sharply, witnessing constant bitter fighting for power rather than good faith governance contributes to public despair and cynicism, which really impacts the mental outlook. The DC disorder appears to enable rather than calm extremism. This systemic political conflict filters down to divide ordinary citizens against each other as well. For Americans with pre-existing mental health conditions like anxiety, depression, or PTSD, the January 6th attacks and continued instability exacerbate their suffering. However, even previously healthy individuals can develop psychological symptoms from extended exposure to stressful environments. Chronic stress hormones like cortisol compromise people's ability to cope. While the Capitol building itself has been repaired with heightened security, the damage to America's collective mental health persists. Healing cannot begin until the still volatile political situation stabilizes. Dangerous rhetoric around elections and democracy continues circulating unchecked today, serving as emotional trigger points. Many mental health experts are specifically trained counselors to treat trauma associated with politically rooted violence. Support groups are also forming for January 6 survivors. Addressing this interconnected psychological crisis remains critical for the nation's ability to progress and unite again. So in conclusion, the January 6th insurrection clearly inflicted psychological wounds beyond just physical damage. From the politicians and staffers fearing for their lives that day to millions of horrified observers, the collective trauma remains visceral, unresolved, and dangerous. The stability of America's constitutional democracy is interdependent with the stability of mind amongst its citizens. Recovering from such national trauma requires acknowledging and addressing the mental health impacts we've all sustained. Both time and catharsis through truth-telling play a role in reconciliation. We should consider mental health as a vital metric of societal functioning, not just a private matter. There are interventions uh, policymakers should urgently undertake, such as better regulating social media algorithms, de-escalating violent political rhetoric, and increasing access to therapy resources for victims. America's mental resilience faces escalating pressures. Prioritizing collective psychological recovery today can mitigate further unrest and violence ahead. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the attacks. What are your thoughts about people being so passionate about Trump's presidency that it leads them to do such an act? Please share your thoughts and don't forget to like and subscribe. Please come back for more for videos like this. I hope it was informative. Talk to you soon.